Do you agree with Justice Scalia's view that Roe was wrongly decided? So, Senator, I do want to be forthright and answer every question so far as I can. I think on that question, I, you know, I'm going to invoke Justice Kagan's description, which I think is um, perfectly put. When she was in her confirmation hearing, she said that she was not going to grade precedent or give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I think in an area where precedent continues to be pressed and litigated, as is true of Casey, it would be particularly, um, it would actually be wrong and a violation of the canons for me to do that as a sitting judge. Um, so if, if I express a view on a precedent one way or another, whether I say I love it or I hate it, it signals to litigants that I might tilt one way or another in a pending case. So on something that is really a major cause with major effect on over half of the population of this country who are women, you about packing the court and I know that sure. you said yesterday you yeah. aren't going to answer the question until after he's elected huh. but this is the number one thing that I've been asked about from viewers uh, in the past couple of days well you've been asked by the viewers who are probably Republicans who don't want me continuing to talk about what they're doing to the court right now well sir don't the voters deserve to know no they don't they? I'm not going to play his game Isn't that what that's supposed to be? <laughs> we're, we're supposed to ask questions, get answers, and discuss the politicians' answers before they get into office. Senator, you talked about the former vice president looking right into the camera, but his answer on court packing, adding more justices to the court, just sounds like a straight-up dodge. God damn it. Why won't he... Your party is actually openly advocating adding seats to the Supreme Court, which has had nine seats for 150 years, if you don't get your way. This is a classic case of if you can't win by the rules, you're going to change the rules. Now, you've refused to answer the question. Joe Biden has refused to answer the question. But I think the American people would really like to know if Judge Amy Coney Barrett is confirmed to the Supreme Court of the United States, are you and Joe Biden, if somehow you win this election, going to pack the Supreme Court to get your way. I'm so glad we went through a little history lesson. Let's do that a little more. In 1864... Well, I'd like you to answer the question. No, Mr. Yes. Vice President, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Okay. In 1864, one of the, I think, political heroes, certainly of the President, and I, I assume if you also Mr. Vice President, is Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln was up for re-election. And it was 27 days before the election. And a seat became open on the United States Supreme Court. Abraham Lincoln's party was in charge, not only of the White House, but the Senate. But Honest Abe said, it's not the right thing to do. The American people deserve to make the decision about who will be the next president of the United States. And then that person can select who will serve for a lifetime on the highest court of our land. And so Joe and I are very clear. The American people
people are voting right now. And it should be their decision about who will serve on this most important body for a lifetime. Thank you, and, and Senator and Harris. Mr. Susan, are voting right now. They'd like to know if you and Joe Biden are going to pack the Supreme Court if you don't get your way in this nomination. Let's talk about packing. You, you once Come again, on. gave a non-answer. Joe Biden gave a non-answer. <laughs> non-answer, you and know. Half the people deserve a straight answer. And, and if you haven't figured it out yet, the straight answer is they are going to pack the Supreme Court if they somehow win this election. 